Hey folks, welcome to a new video. Let's see how we can build a theme switching feature in our Flutter app using river port and shared preferences. So before starting, make sure to add shared preferences and Flutter river port into your pubspec.yaml. Just ignore everything else. Uh, this is a project that I'm working on. After that, uh, inside your main dot dot, wrap your Maya with provider scope. And uh, I have a simply while right here. I have a consumer widget, uh, which is my my app. And here I have a home screen, which is in a separate file. And there is nothing much in this UI. Just a switch, which we will use to switch our theme between dark and light. So inside the theme folder, I have a theme folder right here. We have two files inside this theme provider and theme. Theme dot dot. Inside theme dot dot, we will specify our light theme and dark theme inside a app theme class. So I'm not going to type all of that. I'm just asking ChatGPT to do, do it for me. So I'm just pasting the code right here. So now I can just import material dot dart and that's it. Now I have my light theme and dark theme. You can customize yours as you want. You just ask ChatGPT to give the basic structure. Okay. Now inside the home, sorry, inside the main dot dart, you can specify the theme here. Uh, theme app theme dot light theme and you can specify the dark theme which will be app theme dot dark theme dark theme now import app theme okay now we need to remove the constant from here okay now we can add the const right in the home okay now let's uh, start working on our state management so inside theme dot dot we need to create sorry theme provider dot dot we need to create three providers uh, so uh, let's do that now we can start with our shared preferences provider so first of all import our river port package river port after that we need our shared preferences so import that too package shared preferences yeah okay now we can create our shared pref provider so just name it shared pref provider it will be equals a future provider and the type will be shared preferences after that we can just return the instance of shared preferences return okay there is copilot for us to do the job okay now our shared preference provider is ready now we can create our theme provider actually we have two providers one is for our switch to update our switch and one is to provide the theme actually we can do it in a much easier way but uh, i am doing it in, it in a way that that will be more easy to read and understand for you guys so you can uh, do your own optimization when you do uh, when you work in your project so now let's do it in my way so first of all let's create our uh, theme switch provider uh, which will be we will which we will use to uh, update our switch i mean the uh, uh, theme switch that that's our uh, that's specified in our uh, home okay now we can create the theme switch provider provider and it will be equal to a state provider and it will be of type bool after that we need to listen to our shared preference right here shared preferences and we can use ref dot watch shared pref provider don't forget to add the semicolon at last. After that, we can get the theme from shared preferences. Shared preferences, sorry. Shared preferences dot value add the null check dot get string and it will be theme mode. I am storing uh, the value as a string if you want you can store it as a bool boolean value of course but uh, this will be much more easy to read and for you guys to understand so after that i will check if the 
theme is equal to dark if it's dark I will return true else it will return false okay now team switch provider is ready after that we can create our theme mode provider which will be used in our main road dark to listen to the theme changes when the theme switch provider uh, change between true or false after that we can create final theme mode provider and it will, it will be equal to state provider and the type will be theme mode after that and don't forget to import material okay now we can uh, listen to our shared preferences and uh, theme switch provider right inside theme mode provider share preferences and after that we need our theme switch theme switch or you can just name it whatever you want is dark theme whatever it is and now I'm just uh, rough load watch theme switch provider okay now we can check if the theme switch is true or false if theme switch which means if theme switch is true we will set the shared preferences dot value and I'll check dot set string the key will be theme mode and the value will be dark if it's true we will set it to dark else we will set it to light okay same code just change the dark to light after that we can get the theme theme will be shared preferences dot value I'll check dot get string theme mode yeah that's it now we can just return our theme mode if return theme equals dark just auto complete it theme equal to dark we will return theme mode dot dark or else we will return theme mode dot light that's it now we can just save the code now our providers is ready now we can just use this provider inside our UI okay now inside our main dot dart we can uh, listen to our theme mode provider right here theme mode will be rough dot watch theme mode provider now import theme mode provider okay and don't forget to add dot notifier because we need to listen to the state and here we can specify theme mode which will be which will be equal to theme mode dot state that's it after that inside our home we need to listen to our theme switch provider theme switch provider we can't name it the same just name it T switch provider and we can just call it after watch theme switch provider okay now in, uh, instead of this false constant false just pass the T switch provider and inside the on changer we can update the state of the theme switch provider rough dot read we will use rough dot read because we need don't need to listen to that part and notify dot state equals value yeah that's it now our code is ready there is no errors uh, let's try it out okay now our app is ready and running let's check whether our theme switching feature is working or not so here we have our theme switch just turn it on nice perfect our theme switching is perfectly working if you turn it off it will change to light mode if you switch it on it will turn to uh, dark theme so uh, that's it guys this is how you uh, implement theme switching using river code and shared preferences 
in your flutter app so if you like this video make sure to subscribe and uh, leave a like so that's it guys if you have any doubt uh, make sure to ask it in the comment section and yeah that's it see you in the next video bye bye